Hi beauties, Rosie here from rosiepena.com, a sewing and style blog. Today I'm here with my March sewing makes as well as my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. A few weeks ago I hit 1,000 subscribers. Now I'm at 1,200 or so, but I just want to thank every single one of you. Thank you so much for subscribing to the blog and watching my video. Without you guys, I wouldn't be creating videos. I love reaching out to you, sharing with you the things that I've been making and hopefully inspiring you to make similar things or just give you some fun entertainment to um, tune into. Alright guys, so if you want to see all the things that I made in the month of March, just go ahead and keep watching. Quick little disclaimer, a lot of the things that I'm going to share with you are totally wrinkled, but I'm going to insert clips, that way you can get a good idea of what they actually look like when they're not wrinkled. I just didn't have a chance to sit down and film and iron everything out. Um, but hopefully you guys can look past that. Alright, so one of the first things I made this month was Simplicity 8128. And I actually just made the top. Hopefully you can see that. So I made the top view B, the cropped version. So there's a view A, which is the same um, sort of top, but a little bit longer. And then view B, which is the cropped version. That's the one that I did. And I just made it in this simple fabric. Again, excuse all the wrinkles, I'm so sorry. I'm definitely gonna insert a clip for you guys um, so you can see the way that it looks on. So these videos are usually kind of just a repeat and just showing you in person what I made. But on the blog, I always go into detail. I have a pattern review of each of these items. My favorite thing about this top, aside from the cute little bow in the back, is definitely the um, wide hem that it has. So it has a three inch wide hem. All I did was just do a white stitching, but I think it looks so cute. It really accentuates uh, the wide hem on the bottom. So that was definitely one of my favorite things about this pattern. Um, I didn't try the skirt version, but I'd imagine it'll look really cute with this top as well. So definitely a fun pattern. If you haven't sewed it up, I definitely recommend it. So as you'll see from the picture of the top that I just talked about, I paired it with a pair of pants. I'll insert the picture again because the pants are also me made. So the pants are Simplicity 8177 which is a Mimi G pattern and I've actually made all of these items already and I have blog posts on so I'll have it linked in the description bar. Here are my pants. Again I need to iron all of them. I'm so sorry. After I took blog pictures in them I kind of just had them you know tossed to the side. I didn't hang them up right away um, but hopefully the pictures will give you a good idea of what they actually look like because you can't really see. But yeah, they're super cute. I really love this pattern. If you haven't tried it, every pattern on here to me is like a staple pattern piece. You know, you have just a regular jersey top. The pants can be made from so many different types of fabric. This really is a great versatile pattern if you haven't tried it out. The fabric I chose was a stretch, slightly stretch woven from Joanne Fabric. Uh, the previous uh, fabric was also from Joanne Fabric. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I kind of had like a little jumpsuit obsession for a while. And to be honest, I could have kept it going, but I wanted to throw some variety in there. Uh, mostly everything that I sewn this month was either pants or um, a jumpsuit. So the next one that I have to show you is New Look um, 6493. And it's one of their newer patterns that recently came out. Um, and I did View D which is the culotte version. I took blog pictures in these as well, so I'll definitely insert those clips. I have the tie belt attached to it. So it just has a tie belt um, on the pattern as well that you can just take off, but it's actually just attached. But it has room for a quarter inch elastic in there, just a small little um, elastic waistband. And it has the V-neck in the front, and it also has the V-neck in the back as well, which I thought was super cool. Usually they'll have a V-neck in the front, and then the back is just, um, sort of just a rounded uh, shape and it also has pockets which is a really great feature as well. I know a lot of people um, that's kind of a must for them. They love to have pockets. So yeah this is definitely a great pattern to sew up if you're just looking for a fun little jumpsuit to whip up. I, it didn't take me too long to make this. I would say maybe three possibly four hours. The past few months I've been actually taking my time with my patterns. I haven't been trying to rush them and kind of just enjoy the process more not just try to hurry and finish. So that has been something really fun that I've been doing lately. I recently changed my sewing space, if you haven't realized, from my background. Um, it's been different in the past, actually just the previous video. Um, but this will probably be my background from now on. Like I said, I moved sewing spaces, so I'm still kind of trying to adjust, uh, get used to all where everything's at. Um, but I definitely have more space now, so that's something that I definitely appreciate. Um, before I was actually sewing in my bedroom, um, I had a corner space of my bedroom that was just dedicated to um, sewing. So now I do actually have a sewing room which I love and I'm so grateful um, to be able to have. Yeah, that's been really fun. 
um, just kind of working in my new sewing space. So the next thing that I have to show you, um, I don't actually have a pattern to share with you. Uh, I can show you the inspiration picture though, so let me go ahead and grab it. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but I cut this out from a magazine. Like I said in my previous video, I usually don't purchase magazines for inspiration. I can usually find enough inspiration through Pinterest or through Instagram. So I don't usually uh, go through magazines, but last month I decided to go ahead and purchase two magazines. I'll show you the ones that I got. So the magazines that I've been drawing inspiration from lately, the March issue of Elle magazine, and then also the March issue of In Style magazine. And the magazine that I think had the best um, kind of inspiration in there was definitely In Style magazine. If you've never checked it out, that's definitely going to be a new favorite of mine to, to draw inspiration from. From that picture, um, I cut it out and I didn't have any patterns in my stash that were similar to that. So, and it looks pretty simple enough that I decided to just kind of try to draft my own. So that's what I did with this next outfit. Um, and again, it's not going to show up that well on camera, but I'll definitely insert some clips. So this is the top. It's just a strapless um, jumpsuit. I'm obviously not in red like the inspiration photo. The waist is encased in elastic as well. And then it's just attached at the bottom to basically like a culotte style um, pant leg. But it was actually very easy to put together. Actually, this was my basically my test muslin and it came out super great. Okay, so last but definitely not least, I have my Mimi G style new PDF pattern that she came out with. So it's a jumpsuit pattern. And you guys, I am in love with it. I wanted to do the flare leg version, but I had just previously, um, before I posted this, I had just previously sewn a kind of wide leg, flare leg jumpsuit, so I didn't want to repeat that same style. So I went for the tapered leg on this pattern, which I'm pleasantly surprised actually suited my body. Like I said, I'll insert a um, clip of me wearing it to the side, but you guys, I love this jumpsuit so much. So the fabric is just like a floral denim and I got it from Joanne Fabric. pattern is definitely beginner friendly. I would say if you're a beginner and you want to jump into garment sewing, Definitely this is a great um, beginner pattern because there's only six pieces I believe for a jumpsuit that is super great um, and she has a sew along video so whenever you purchase the pattern it comes with the sew along video as well. Down the center front it just has a invisible zipper so that's how you get in and out of the jumpsuit and all the seams um, I just surge them and there's my little tag. So it actually doesn't come with the belt. But I think it does look really cute if you just add maybe your own little belt. I made my own belt from a McCall pattern. It was a shirt pattern. It's a new one that came out. But I just made my own little sort of like a uh, roost kind of tie. It gave it like a vintage type of feel which I really love. The pattern really turned out great you guys. I love the little pockets on the front and I love the collar and I love the whole vintage kind of like 70s retro feel that it has. That's probably my favorite thing about this. All right, so I think that is it for all my makes. I do feel like I'm forgetting something. Like I said, I've been sewing so much. I'm pretty sure I forgot something, but if I did, I'll, I'll add it in my next makes video. So I just wanted to take a minute to tell everybody thank you for the support on So So Deaf Magazine. It just launched a few days ago, and the response has been amazing. Mimi said she was blown away by all the support and all the feedback that she got back on the day that the magazine launched. So thank you guys also for all the love and all the support and all the life and all the encouragement that you guys have been showing to So So Deaf Magazine. So if you haven't heard, it's a new multicultural sewing magazine and it is for men and women. Um, the idea with, behind the magazine was just to show uh, all different kinds of faces that are out there, you know, faces like me, faces like you. Everybody's included in this magazine, men, women. I'm going to purchase an issue for the winner of the giveaway. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave me a comment in the comment section of this video and just let me know what you think is missing in the sewing community. So whether that be more fashion, whether that be you wish there was more um, post about children or maybe more men sew, whatever it is that you think is missing in the sewing community, that is what I want to hear from you guys. Just leave me a comment in the comment section of this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, yeah, that will be my 1K giveaway. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the wrinkled clothes, but I hope you guys were still able to take away some inspiration from the video, take away some inspiration from the photos. So best of luck on the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!